What's up guys? So the way to qualify for the world championships can be a little bit complicated. So I'm going to go through in this video and try and make it as easy as possible to understand. And we're going to go through a few scenarios, see who's qualified already, see who's not yet qualified, and we'll go through there. So this is going to be mainly aimed at the Pro Tour qualifiers. There are only two Pro Tours left in the rest of this year, and they're in a couple of weeks. So once they're done, we'll almost guarantee have the entire qualifying list there'll be a couple of international qualifiers but we're not going to look at international qualifiers in this video we'll probably look at them in the, in a future video once it all um, once it all becomes a little bit more more set in stone and a bit more easy to understand but this video is going to be going over the pro tour qualifiers and the order of merit qualifiers and how that all works So the World Championship is typically 96 players in total. They are split up by 32 seeded players from the PDC Order of Merit. They're split up then and by another 32 players who are Pro Tour players on the PDC Order of Merit who aren't already inside the world's top 32. And then there's going to be another 32 players which are all international qualifiers or qualifiers from different events that aren't the PDC Pro Tour. So that could be like Women's Series, that could be like asian qualifiers or something or whatever other qualifiers that aren't the pdc pro tour there are quite a few of them so we'll get onto those in a future video that's basically how it is structured that's how you qualify for the pdc world championships so let's have a look at the qualifiers at the moment with two pro tours left to go and let's see how they're getting on so we're going to go over to my favorite website of all time this is dartsrankings.com this is a great website if you want to have a look at the qualifiers and stuff as and when then go to this website it is very very good uh, on the top link we have uh, premier premier event races and we have the world championship race so this is going to be the way that you qualify for the world championships now if you look at these two columns you'll if you and you remember uh, about a minute ago probably i said it's 32 players on the pro tour order of merit and 32 players on the world order of merit so the left column is the is the uh, the qualifiers for the seeded positions in the world championships these are the top 32 players in the world as far as right now um you might notice that go and price is currently world number one on this list basically if nothing changes go and price will go into the world championships as the world number one but there are a few more tournaments to go so just kind of if if you know if you understand the system you understand the system if you don't just just don't worry about it it's too much to it's too much to uh to explain at the moment um but just know that it could go in price could go into the into the world championships as well number one he could go into it as well number two he could potentially go into it as well number three maybe i don't even know probably not to be honest but he's probably going to go into it as well number one or well number two anyway that's irrelevant these are the top 32 seeded players at the moment for the world championships so it starts off at world number one go in price and it goes all the way down to world number 32 adrian lewis and then on the left list we have the pro tour order of merit qualifiers uh, that is number one at seed at the moment is Josh Rock and the number 32 seed at the moment is Jeffrey Deswan. So right at this very second, the players in the green on both sides are qualified for the World Championships. Now there are tournaments coming up and there are things that can change. Now if anyone plays well in like the Players Championships or whatever, or if they play well in any other tournaments coming up, then um, they will they will add to their to their world ranking. So this 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 left list will will change. But if they play well, if they get results in the Pro Tours that are left over for the rest of the year which is two more they're in about two weeks time the 4th and the 5th of november i believe um, that will make changes to the right list so anyway the right list consists of the pro tour order of merit uh rankings who aren't already inside the world top 32 now if you include the players who are inside the world's top 32 you can see that josh rock goes from the, the number one seed to like 15th down in the list but because these players are already in on this list you can hide them you can remove them so at the moment Holding up the number 32 spot is Adrian Lewis. Um, if you have a look down here, anyone who is in sort of like this, this bluey color, um, they are players who are qualified on this list. And if you have a look at anyone who's in this white color or this gray color, they're players who haven't qualified in either lists. So at the moment, the players who haven't qualified are Ian White, Devin Peterson, Ryan Joyce, Darius Labanowska, Steve Lennon, Glenn Durrant, uh, Ron Mullenkamp, Florian Hempel, Jason Lowe, Adam Hunt, Jeff Smith, Mike Kyvenhoven, and all the way down, anyone in these in these, in these grey ones, John Henderson, uh, Scott Mitchell, Max Hopp, 
A lot of players here who haven't qualified for the World Championship, so you'd kind of maybe expect to a little bit. Um, so there's a couple of surprises there of, of players who, who aren't yet qualified. There is still two weeks to go or two tournaments to go. Uh, and then players who are in the Pro Tour order of merit. So these will be the guys who aren't seeded but are playing against the international qualifiers. Um, these guys are currently... Um, currently the, the the top 32 qualifies from this side and it cuts off at Jeffy Deswan number 32 who is sitting on 23,250 pounds you just multiply these by whatever it is like a thousand or something yeah mul multiply these these numbers by a thousand you'll get the the uh the ranking money um uh, equivalent so it's just to stop the numbers being so so long um but yeah so jeffrey does is currently sitting on twenty three thousand two hundred and fifty pounds and he sat on the 32 spot now as far as the last two pro tools go there's going to be like a maximum of twenty four thousand pounds up for one player if you win them both they're twelve thousand pounds each uh so it, anyone could anyone could like you could potentially be on zero pounds win both pro tours and end up on like like the 32 spot obviously that's very unlikely um but it could happen so it means that anyone really can still qualify for the world championships it's just unlikely that if you're quite low down this list if you're down here like like some of these players um most of them probably don't even have tour cards to be completely honest but some of these players have got no chance of getting a tour card uh getting a, a place in the world championships but let's have a look at the players who can potentially still get a place in the world championships so i would say anyone who's on a about 18,000 or more could potentially get enough money to make their way into world championships. So we're looking at people like uh, Ricardo, I don't know what his surname is, the Pikachu guy, um, Annie Bolton, Mario, Florian Hempel, Kevin Dutz, uh, Jeff Smith, Nathan Rafferty, Scott Waits, Joe Merlin, Ryan Joyce, Ian White, and Adam Gavlas. I think they're all in with a chance of getting a world championship spot. The rest of them, anyone further down, like John Henderson, Louis Williams, uh, Brian Raman, people like that ron Mullenkamp. i think they're just probably a little bit too far away at this point they're gonna need like a final or something to make it to the uh, to the world championships which of course isn't isn't impossible it's not undoable but it's probably unlikely and the players who are currently holding world championship spots who could potentially lose them i would say is anyone under about twenty five thousand pounds i think twenty seven thousand pounds is probably pretty safe so richie head out richie head out in my opinion is probably pretty safe for the world championships at the moment but players like neil zonneveld cameron menzies steve beaton gert ninjas luke woodhouse potentially i mean they need a lot to go go against them for, the, for them to lose a lose a world championship spot um but other than that mickey mansell john o'shea Mar martin clearmacher mike de decker and jeffrey Deswan. those are the players who are probably most likely to lose their world world championship spots in the last two pro tours of the year but again you just never know but that's basically how it works um those are the those are kind of like the rankings and stuff as of right now once the pro tours are finished in a couple of weeks time then we'll have another look through and go through as much as we can but that's basically how that all works and uh yeah if you want to follow along on the pro tours and stuff when it comes to it uh www.dartsrankings.com that is the place to go it's a very 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 good website uh, and it makes everything really easy so i thought i'd just come come here show you guys what's going on show you how it works and if you want to have a follow along yourself uh on the 4th and the 5th of november then you can do now there will be two other qualifiers or two other places minimum available to the pro tour players uh, and they will go to a uh a uh, like a qualifier in Barnsley I believe it'll be like the end of November so there'll be at least it says it says on the PC website there'll be at least two qualifiers from that so if you want to so you can like follow along with that and stuff and that should be pretty easy but as far as people as far as you as far as it goes you want to qualify via the pro tour that's gonna be the best way of you you to get into the world championships and it's going to get you a better first round draw for the most part not necessarily correct the whole time but for the most part if you qualify via this way instead of via the international qualifiers you should get theoretically should get a better draw by qualifying this way anyway hope that makes it all sense hope that's not too difficult to follow along with uh if you did enjoy this video leave a like on it subscribe if you're brand new i'll see you guys in the next one bye